Hi there, I'm Matt Swartz, Senior Editor with Expedition Portal and Overland Journal, and today on Field Tested, we're talking about something I'm very excited about. This is the Wakakao Pico Presso Travel Espresso Maker, a Hong Kong-based company that was founded in 2013, and they make some specialty coffee gear for travel. So we've actually written about some of their products before. The Nano Presso was the predecessor to this for making espresso on the go. So this is the Pico Presso. So this is the fancy new one. And we'll get right into it here. The Pico Presso is supposed to be their, their premium espresso maker. It uh, features a 52 millimeter, 18 gram portafilter basket, just like a standard espresso maker, which you can see right here. So that is pretty much the whole product right there. And we've got a water chamber on top. And we've got the coffee filter on the bottom. Instead of just talking about this one, I thought I'd actually make an espresso so you can see the whole process. While this is heating up, we'll start by loading up the basket here. So I already have 18 grams of espresso right here that I've pre-ground. So we'll start with this little filter. This just helps you get the coffee into the basket without spilling it. Let's see if I can do this. And then just like a real espresso setup, you've got this tamper. So. We'll press down the coffee right there. You can see we will screw this onto the main unit. Now for a proper espresso shot, they recommend 36 grams of water to 18 grams of coffee. I've done this a few times, so I kind of know where to eyeball it in here. So we're gonna pour this hot water right into the top. This is the only tricky part of this. Getting this lid to seat properly is a little weird. So I like to do it on a flat surface. Screw that on tight. Okay, so now we're gonna pump this eight times to preheat it. So, one, two, three. One of the cool things about this is it actually generates 18 bar of pressure, which is about 265 pounds per square inch, and that's, I guess, what is required to produce a proper espresso shot, at least as far as I understand and I've read in the literature. So now it's been about 10 seconds. So I'm gonna start pumping, and you're gonna see the espresso come out the bottom here. And that's it. It's pretty easy. So out of all of the portable espresso makers that I've tried to date, uh, I, I feel very confident saying the Pico Presso does the best job. I'm super impressed with it. It produces a fantastic espresso. Um, I also like to make Americanos with it. Sometimes we make lattes. It's just easy, uh, works really well. I highly recommend it. Retails for about $129, but when you consider the cost of a coffee drink at a coffee shop, which can be anywhere from $4 to $7 these days, it's an investment that will pay for itself very quickly. Cheers. And this week's hack is this Smart Leather Goods A5 sized notebook cover. I really love this thing. It was inexpensive. It works well with these Moleskine refills, which uh, is you know valuable for keeping notes in the field when you're doing a shoot, when you're on a project, or when you're just traveling and you want to keep a journal. I really like the fact that it's got places to put cards on the inside, keep receipts. It also has a pen holder right here. Another great inexpensive thing that is just super useful. 